Welcome back to another episode of uh, Let's Play Roma in Football Manager 2019. I'm Ater, and as you may have noticed, yesterday no episode was released. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you what happened. So back in in Thursday, uh, we were going to have a Christmas party at work, so I knew I wouldn't be able to record Friday's episode. Uh, then, so what I did instead uh, is that uh, during Wednesday I recorded two episodes. I recorded both uh, the uh, the Thursday's uh, episode and the Friday's episode. But something um, it went a little bit wrong when I uh, put in uh, basically the settings when I uploaded them to YouTube. So instead of um, episode sixty-two being released on um, Thursday and episode 63 being released on Friday, both episodes was actually released uh, back in, in Thursday. So um, I noticed that probably some people have missed one of them because uh, <laughs> never before in the series two episodes been released on the same day and episodes doesn't have the same amount of views. So make sure to check out that you didn't miss one of them because uh, that was a mistake by me and that's the reason no episode was released uh, yesterday and Friday because uh, because uh, we got two, two episodes instead uh, on, on Thursday and I got a Christmas party. And uh, because of the Christmas party my voice is pretty sore today so I'm going to try to talk a lot less uh, than I normally do because my voice is cracking up and I basically try to prepare myself right now before a recording like drinking some water, drinking some tea, relaxing the voice but uh, most likely it will start cracking up so um, as soon as I come through basically the, the start and the basic here I'm going to be a lot more quiet than I normally are but today is Champions League day and uh, we are playing at home versus uh, Hertha Berlin and uh, if you take a look at uh, the group stage uh, as you may remember from um, last time we were checking at Champions League, we are topping the table since Real Madrid only managed to get a draw uh, themselves when they, when they played um, Hertha Berlin. And that's kind of impressive by Hertha Berlin. I mean, getting a draw versus Real Madrid means this team shouldn't be uh, underestimated. But it's also kind of a weird because they are having, actually, if you take a look at the team and, and the German league, they're actually struggling a lot in the in, in league this season because uh, I mean they are in Champions League now, so they managed to reach a uh, Champions League spot during last season. Was one of the top teams, but right now this only goal difference that se difference that separates them from a, a relegation spot. Uh, so they are struggling here at the start of the season, but of course it's still early and they're probably going to start climbing that uh, table. But um, yeah, as I said, uh, I mean, this, they, they might take a point versus Real Madrid, so we are clearly not going to be underestimating them. Uh, this episode takes place ASAP after that crazy mad Juve game, so you haven't missed anything. Um, one thing I could mention is, uh, I don't think, uh, Ensosig injured out for about three weeks. Uh, that, that's basically the only thing. Um, we are back to playing more attack-minded formation. Um... Yeah, that, that, that's basically it, and now I need to start talking a little bit less, because I can really feel my, my voice is about to break, so um, let's just uh, have the team talk, and then uh, kick off the game, and then I'm going to try to be a little bit quiet, until maybe I get to celebrate a goal with you guys, because that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? So game on, and I'm going to be quiet, just, just enjoy here. And boy, did, this game didn't let me be quiet for long, did it? Because that's a brilliant start. Schick, the man who was the crybaby cry the whole preseason and the start of the, the season. He's back in business now and uh, his fourth goal. And you know he scored on hat-trick when he got a little bit happy. And now we follow that up with a Champions League goal. And uh, here might be something else coming up here. Florenzi. Lorenzi, Gerson, Gerson with a lot of luck, it bounces off one of the defenders, and that's a goal, and that's that, that's a, the sign for me, now I can stay quiet again while you watch the replay.
Oh my gosh, guys, did you see that? It's back to talking, and that was disgusting. Take a look at this bad, bad defense. I believe it was it uh, Florenzi? I think it was. Take a look at that. What's up with that? I mean, Donnarumma managed to save the first one, but of course with, uh, with the rebound. But that defensive work, uh, that's uh, a disgrace. Show some passion, lads. I'm not okay with this one at all. Embarrassing. Yes, I mean, we completely dominated the game, and then all of a sudden we decided to give something like that away. Can never be okay. And now we are actually under pressure again by Hertha Berlin. And this time Donnarumma managed to keep it away. But yeah, we completely dominated things. 100% and then they got that goal for free. At the same time, you can see here Real Madrid has taken the lead versus uh, PSV. It's Tony Cruz. Optimistic shot there by Tonali, but um, we managed to get a corner out of it, so I guess it was good. Pellegrini with a corner, long, long cross to nobody. Schick could pick it up. Can it uh, get it into the box? Maybe with Tonali back to Schick. Into the box and to nobody, but Garrison wins it back. Tonali, Tonali. Gerson, Pellegrini, Gerson, and another bit optimistic, but I like it. We are creating chances, but yeah, back to be quiet. And uh, that's the halftime whistle, and I'm happy with the way we dominated things, but I'm very, very unhappy uh, uh, with the way we gave away that goal. And I'm going to tell them, I'm not happy, we need to step it up. Yes, we are in the lead. Yes, we dominated things. But that goal that they score is completely unacceptable. I'm going to try to bring Tonali a little bit higher up into the pitch, see what effect that has changed the Pellegrini around to box to box, and just see how, how this feels com compared to the way we were playing in the first half. And Real Madrid once again takes the lead versus PSV. It would be brilliant for us if PSV could manage to come back once again and score. That would be fantastic for us. Not much going on here in the second half. Clock just ticks away. I don't believe it's in a single highlight in the second half. Um, not sure what's up with that. Let's see here. Who do you want to replace? Tonali has been kind of met today. And uh, we have... Uh, and Sossi is going to be out with an injury for a long time. So we know that we... Tonali uh, will be playing a lot of games, so I think it could be the right decision to, to give him some rest here and uh, bring in Pereira in that role, and Pellegrini will change around with uh, Cristante. I think, uh, I think that's some good decisions. Bring you back to a uh, playmaker, and Pereira could go advanced playmaker. Maybe in Navasala. I think, I think a, an ordinary playmaker, advanced playmaker would be okay like that. And I think, now nah, I don't need it to team talk. We are, we are a lot of greens here compared to their side, so. I mean, this second half got to be some kind of record in, in the most boring half ever. Has anything at all happened? I, I don't believe so. I don't believe anything at all that happened. Nicolas Doe is having a garbage game. I think we are going to bring on uh, Gabigol here. Four minutes of extra time. And now finally something happens. And it is for Hertha Berlin. Come on, lads. I'm not pleased. Cristante wins it back. Here is Schick. Schick advances. Can, can he find Barbosa? 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 Beautiful. Exactly what we needed. The most boring second half ever. We're not a single highlight until extra time when our sub, our power, actually, Cristante, one of our subs, and Barbosa, another one of our subs. So uh, we, we made two subs. We have seen the highlight. Two of those subs are linking up, and we scored. I mean, we completely have been dominating this game in any every single way, but uh, we haven't seen many highlights. It's been a pretty boring game. And then, yeah, as I said before, I mean, 
we are very displeased with, with that goal we conceded, but at least we got three points, that's all that care, we care about, because this season is all about Champions League, that, that's why I'm showing this uh, Hertha Berlin game, I know it's maybe not the, the biggest and greatest game uh, we're going to play this season, but this season is all about Champions League, I, I would offer everything for Champions League title, I, like, I, I would be okay with us coming like fifth place in the league, getting out, knocked out in the first round of the Italian Cup, as long as we win the Champions League, because... Uh, yeah, it's basically everything we want. We desperately, desperately want a Champions League title. Because, uh, I mean, that, that's the only thing we have left to win. Let, let's take a look now at the end result of the Real Madrid game. Where is it? So, unfortunately for us, at the end, they managed to score quite a few goals. Because if they would have drawn here, that, that would have been sensational for us. It would have been fantastic. But still, we are in the, in, in the driver's seat. But we have a really, really tough period coming up now in the Champions League. Because we are going to be facing off versus Real Madrid. Not once, but twice in a row. Take a look at the schedule here. So, next Champions League game will be uh, Real Madrid away. And then our Champions League game after that one will be Real Madrid at home. So, two huge games coming up. And in between those two games, we have AC Milan coming up also. So a very tough schedule, especially with, with a, it's only going to be like two days rest between these two games. So we're going to be in a situation where like, can we use our best team for the, Real, for the AC Milan game? Probably not. We're going to have to use a weaker team just to focus on the Champions League. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, at least we got a great result. I am happy. I am pleased. And uh, that was Kant's count. Uh, I mean, look at all the greens here. Just that frustrating Napoli thing. Let's not mention that one anymore. Uh, but that's it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. And I'll see you in the next episode.